Tubiest of the Tubiest. The best YouTube subscribers on the planet. That's you. And I'm 50 plus. How old is too old to get started in trucking? Hello guys and gals. RJ asked me a question. Uh, RJ's 50 years old and uh, he's gonna get started in trucking and um, I wish him all the luck and uh, the reason this channel is called 50 plus is because when I got started in trucking, I was 50 plus years old. And that's where that comes from and um, uh, you know, this is a, a, a fantastic uh, career to get into late in age because, um, you know, with age comes, should come, with wisdom and, and, and some you, you can use some of that wisdom uh, in this industry to help you achieve your goals, climb the ladder as fast as you can get there. Um, yeah, some of us... Uh, at our age have built up some some cash and uh, you know it can help you progress through this uh, the stepping stone to get to where you want to be you know if you want to just drive for somebody else drive be a company driver to, uh, until you uh, do your final retirement then uh, there's nothing wrong with that go for it but if you want to be an owner operator you know uh, get started a late in age, in, 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 in age a little bit there, then uh, you maybe have some cash stored, you know? If you got some cash stored up, it'll help you buy a truck. You know, get yourself going, get yourself set up. There's a lot of positives. And let's just say, you, you know, that's not the issue. Uh, a lot of people get started late in age with this because um, you can use this as a, uh, a traveling tool, basically. Um, you and a wife can, can you know, get in the truck and uh, just say you wanted to go visit uh, Phoenix, Arizona, then you can pick a load that goes from your house to Phoenix and, and let the load pay you to get there. You know, make you some money on the way, get there, enjoy it, and find you another load and go someplace else, you know. Lots of people do that. And they get those big super sleeper trucks and all that kind of stuff to do it. You know, uh, that's that's a lifestyle. It that definitely can be uh, a lure to get into this industry late in life. And even if that's not it, um, you can still come out here do very well and uh, pad your retirement. You know, um, you're never too old to get out here and do it. Um, you as long as you can pass a DOT physical, you can do this job. And by the way, youngsters, there's a whole hell of a lot of young people that cannot pass a DOT physical. So you don't have to be old, and, and that's why you can't pass. That's not true. Um, you can you can still do it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of youth. The main question I get with youth is. Does the company do a drug test and how far they go back? Number one question. I ain't had nobody 50 plus years old call me up and say, hey, uh, how far they go back on a drug test? I'm not saying all the people don't do dope. I'm just saying the vast majority of us got that stupidness through our system and we don't, we don't do that ignorant shit no more. You know, I never did, but you know, Again, hopefully with age comes some wisdom and, uh, you know, pumping your body full of that shit uh, doesn't benefit you at all. <laughs> you know, so. But, you know, I'm not I'm not knocking anybody to do it. It's like drinking. I don't, I don't drink either, but I don't knock anybody that does. 
Um, but live long enough or watch enough people destroy themselves with drugs and alcohol and eventually, uh, you know, wisdom should prevail at the end and, and have you to get those type of habits under control. I hope that happens for, for the young guys. I mean, I do. But, you know, for some it don't. Hopefully it works out for you, you know? But that is the number one question. I'm just going off for facts, okay? And uh, and I don't get that from older people. Um, uh, the biggest question I get from older people is uh, uh, the DLT physical thing. And uh, the use of the Qualcomm, uh, the computer on board computer. That's what I get from from us 50 plus year old folks. And that that Qualcomm, bro. You know, you know that uh, that little tablet you bought for your grandchild for Christmas that you know surrounded by a turtle. You know, it's just you can drop it off of a building and it still works. You know, they play games on it. That basic thing right there is 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 still more intuitive than this freaking Qualcomm. That, uh, you know, the only thing you use that thing for is to track your DLT and send in macros. And macros are so easy. And that's another thing that that uh, older people start wondering is, is how difficult it's going to be to learn how to use the uh, macros and remember all that stuff. You don't remember nothing, man. It's, it's all spelled out on there and whatever you want is, is a macro for it. And all a macro is is a a uh, scenario that's already pre-prepared for you. And it's all in order. Then you send them in as 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 needed. So let's say uh, you, you're dispatched to load and you have to send macros through that load, right? first thing you're going to do is arrive at a customer. I mean, that's, that's simple. Then you have to let them know that you've arrived. So you send a macro one that says arrive at the customer. Next thing you're going to do is leave that customer. And you're going to leave loaded, right? Because you got to the, the, the load. So you send a two and it say loaded call. Dude, this shit is so freaking basic, man. You know, don't 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 be intimidated by none of this. Yeah, I know. I know you probably watch other other, other channels and these truck drivers. They tell me how, oh, you got the you got to be out there uh, fifty years before you know how to drive a truck. I've been out here a hundred and twenty-seven years, and every day I learn something new. Cause you a dumb motherfucker. You've been doing the same shit. For 123 years, and you don't know how to do it, you still learning how to do it, boy. Don't be listening to people. Unsubscribe to that crazy. Look here. This is not a difficult thing. You gotta learn how to back that truck up, blah blah blah. blah. Back, back the damn thing up, bro. How many times you gonna back up before you don't know how to do it? Come on, man. This shit is not hard. It is not hard. This month, I'll be 53. I'm doing flatbed. And I seen guys older than me doing flatbed. I seen a guy, uh, when I just got in this, that dude had, that, I don't know, he could have been living a hard life. He could have been 40, but he looked like he was 106. That took order. Oh, boy. And this truck, I think it still had a crank in the front that you poke in the in the grill and go like this. Stick that thing in there. Spray some ether. Smoke out the pipe and shit. Yeah. That joke had an old ass truck. And that dude. Look here, his gray hair had gray hair. That book was old, man. But he was out there flatbed and knocking it out. We went and picked up 
oversized loads. It was walls to go to uh, on the side of build a bit of build the buildings with. And uh, dude had his stuff. He was in front of me, but by the time I got loaded and got to the to pull over where we got the chain down, dude was done. He had, he had his chain down. It, 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 I bet it didn't take him 30 minutes. Yeah, you know, age is just a number. You don't have to be worried about this, man. Come out here and burn some fuel. Just have some fun with it, man. Don't be worried about any of that stupidness. Even if you're a young dude, listen. A young, a young lady, listen. Do not listen to these people that come that, that want to tell you that this job is so difficult and you need to have a goddamn master degree to learn how to drive a truck. That is straight up bullshit. You can make some real good money doing this. And if you want to do flatbed, don't be tripping on that tarping and difficult loads to tarp. You're going to get some that, that are a little bit difficult. But most of the difficult loads to tarp, the, the uh, the shipper knows it's a difficult load of tarp. But they got a tarp machine, man. The machine lay the tarps on the fire. Yeah, I do is strap them down. I mean, bunch them down. It's, it's not hard. And I, and I thought, that's what took me so long. I thought it was, well, that ain't the only thing that took me so long. I was with Swift before, and I made a bunch of money. So, yeah, I was happy. <laughs> so, uh, but, um... I was kind of reluctant to have to get out here and stand in the heat and put these tarps and uh, and, uh, and chains and straps and all that stuff. Ain't nothing to it, man. There's nothing to it. I see ladies out here doing it, so don't think if you're a female that you cannot do flatbed, and you absolutely can. And it pays damn good. Okay, so that's my uh, my rant on. If you guys want to come out here and you're 50 plus years old, can you do it? Hell yeah, you can do it. My mentor is uh, 70, kicking it. Uh, Caesar, Caesar, uh, listen, I do not, this question to me was, you know, on like my, uh, the videos I post with me driving down the road, I put some uh, generic music on there and he wanted to know if I, you know, I put some, you know, some good music on there. The problem with that is um, where I go get the music from, it's uh, it's uh, public domain music. And, uh, you know, Asley's and all them, you know, I would really like to play some of that and, you know, uh, some nice jazz and stuff on, in the background. But the problem is that is copyright music and YouTube will give you copyright strikes for putting that stuff up there. So you gotta be careful with it. That's why I use generic music whenever I, uh, whenever I, I put them up there, okay? Uh, Power Hit of 39. Uh, glad you're getting your CDL, man. And if there's anything that I can do to help you along the way, answer any questions for you, you know, just shoot me a message and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. But um, he responded to one of my first videos and that was me this this is straight up 50 plus trucker's journey and this is my journey from start to whenever i'm done uh, i'll let you know guys know what i'm doing how i'm doing it and, and try to give you as much information i can so that you can do it and you are watching me go through it so therefore you know that it's not you know uh, you know any uh fluff or bullshit okay and uh keep watching those videos and you'll see me go through the whole process uh, I had another subscriber that uh, used CDL Prep. Like I told y'all to use CDL Prep. It's an app, free app you download. Well, you, it's it, portion of it's free, but I think it's like I don't know. I don't know what the price of it is, but pay the money. It's not that much, so that you can get the full access and all the little tests and stuff they do it that, that you that you can do. And I promise you, when you go take your CDL exam uh, to get your permit about 95 percent of the questions you're going to already know them verbatim because you're going to see them in the cdl prep promise you spend that little money is well worth it and just practice them and you're going to do just fine okay um 15 minutes that's long enough i don't ramble long enough uh guys by the way today i'm uploading my first 
pig roast my whole hog cook I'm putting it on my uh, cooking channel uh, it's about 80% uploaded right now um, but uh, go to my cooking channel I'm gonna put a link it's gonna be one up here up here wherever it is you're gonna see a little link up there also in the description is gonna be a link where you can click and go to my uh, cooking channel please go there and like subscribe thumbs up those videos so we can grow that channel as well uh, I will do some cooking on the truck a lot of us gonna be cooking at home and then I'm doing some cooking on the truck on that channel uh, also if you guys uh, got your CDL and uh, and you want to come work at Melton, use that link down below and uh, a, a recruiter will get back with you. Let me tell y'all something, man. Uh, there was a couple of flatbed companies I was thinking about. Uh, um, Melton was one and uh, Maverick was the other. Those were my two top choices. And the reason I, I uh, I, I, I was interested in those two is because I always saw their trucks, man. It was, I think I drive the only dirty Melton truck. Their equipment is goddamn awesome, man. They keep a very, very fresh fleet at Melton. And so does Maverick. You know, they, they stuff look good, man. And, um, you know, for me, appearance, appearance, uh, don't mean everything but you know if you really to keep your stuff clean and you really keep your uh, your equipment up to par that does speak a lot okay to me and they stuff was clean man I called both Maverick said they wasn't hiring him up in my in my area and Melton said come on and I'm really glad it worked out that way because I'm really happy here at Melton, man. I do really well. They keep me rolling. And, uh, you know, I'm on this regional thing. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. Hey, if you live, even if, you, if you're if watching my video right now and you work at Melton and you live down south and live in no other center state and your ass ain't doing regional, I'd have no idea why you ain't doing that, boy. Oh, man. I I I I, I, just, I like being around my family, you know, and I, I enjoy the time I spend with them, you know, and uh, watch my kids, my grandkids grow up, you know, and and spend time with my wife, you know, and then still make damn good money, still making damn good money, dude. This regional thing, <laughs> ain't no joke, boy. <laughs> ain't no joke. Come on, have some fun with it. And, uh, and uh, you know, so if you guys are, are and by the way, uh, Carlo, you know, and I brought him over to Swift. And when I came over here, I brought him over here with me. And Carlo uh, was only with Melton a very short period of time before he got on at the, uh, on the regional route, okay? And because he lives, you know, of course, near me. And uh, killing it, man, doing really well. By the way, I also want you guys to know this too. You can be on the regional route and, and then send a message saying that you want to stay out for the weekend. And they will give you an OTR load for the weekend. So just because you're on the regional route don't mean that you can't ever take an OTR load when you want to make some extra money. You can, you can with, with the amount of, the difference between what I made as an OTR driver at Melton and regional, you can spend one weekend doing a one weekend OTR load and make that difference up, okay? So basically what I'm saying is uh, three weekends in a row, you can be at home one weekend, take an OTR load. Not a problem, not a problem. The belt want to move freight, brother. <laughs> if you don't want to go home, they will make you not go home. Then go ahead home, give you a little something, something, go make some money. So, you know, don't, don't think that, uh, you know, first off, there's not a big difference between the amount of money that I made as a OTR driver with Melton and a regional driver with Melton. There's not a, a huge difference. And I would say probably if I be if I'm fair and I overshoot it just a little bit, I would say about hundred fifty dollars a week difference, meaning I'm making less. Hundred fifty dollars a week less 
uh, being regional, okay? And I have no problem with that at all because that $150 is worth it to me to be at home with my family for the weekend, you know? My dad went through some stuff, you know, with, uh, with cancer. My mom went through some stuff with cancer. And, uh, you know, I'm thankful that I still have my parents here. And uh, I'm gonna spend as much time as I can with them. You know, my uh, oldest daughter is pregnant. She's gonna bring me a brand new granddaughter here in January. And she's getting married uh, next month. And, uh, uh, you know, I just, my family's really tight. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that my kids, they all grown now, but they act like they still kids. They just, they can't get enough of each other. They just, they, uh, if I bought them a house, they all live together. And, uh, and so I enjoy that. <clears throat> so that little bit of money that I'm not making, um, I, if, I, if it made a difference to me, that would be, let's say, let's do the math. Okay, so uh, let's count, let's call it $400. $400, let's give it 50 cents a mile, means you're gonna have to make, run 800 miles. So if you dropped, dropped off a load on Friday morning, picked up another load on uh, Friday that delivers on Monday, you gonna tell me you can't do an 800 mile run on three days? Man, please. Of course you can. So, that load Friday, driving on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, deliver on Monday, you definitely can make up that $350. Not a problem. One weekend, the other three weekends you're at home. So, I'm telling you, man, don't, 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 don't cut yourself short. If you want to, if you, if you're working for Melton right now, you and you can, that Southern uh, Regional route will work for you. Then you need to send a message into your uh, DM uh, or, or or get with uh, with uh, HR or something so they can get you in in, uh, in contact with the uh, with the uh, Fleet uh, 34. Uh, Fleet 34 is what I'm on. Get that regional route, man. Come on, do it. And if you guys are thinking about coming over. Use that link below it when you talk to the recruiter. Well, actually, the link is so simple. All you do is putting in your contact information. You have to, you're not filling out an application. You just put in your contact information so somebody can call you. But then just let them know right then that you live in, in Texas and you, you're interested in the regional. You live in Oklahoma. You live, you want you want the regional. Uh, Missouri, you want the regional. I mean, that little area right there, uh, you know, uh, and you want you want that regional route. It's there, man. Come and get it, dude. It, it, I, and by the way, I did not slow down. I haven't slowed down through this pandemic stuff, even with the regional route, okay? All right? So, <clears throat> I went a little longer than I wanted to, but that was, I really wanted to let you guys know what the deal is. If you are an experienced driver, meaning you got six, six months or more, and you're interested in doing flatbed, uh, hit that link down below but make sure you hit me up put it in there let me know so that uh if there's something i can do to help you through the process i will you're not going to regret coming to melton I, I i i i promise you that i promise you that i'm mean, gonna tell you something else too y'all know i went to swift that's where i started i don't regret that a single bit that place is not what there ain't a damn thing like what people say it is i'm sorry it's just not it's just not. Is everybody gonna have a positive experience? Look here, you can you can have you can have sex and not have a positive experience, okay? And you know that should be all positive, okay? Everything everybody do, man, can can be crappy, no matter what it is. So that's just the, that's just the nature of of, of life, okay? Not all shoes fit, but don't be letting nobody tell you that that company is shit. And so, that being said, I don't care what company it is, man. You know, investigate it. Make sure that it works for you. It might be crappy for some for some people because that shoe don't fit. 
but that don't mean that the company is bad. You see what I'm saying? But I can tell you this, I had run into a Melton driver or had an ex-Melton driver tell me that they had a bad experience at Melton. Just ain't, it ain't, I, I ain't seen it. And I'm straight with you guys. If it was true, I'd tell you it's true. You know, at the end, Swift bent me over and took an eggplant and just went to town. Am I mad at him? No, not really. I was at first, but I'm not now because I wound up here in Melton. I understand what happened. I don't agree with it, and I'm sure they don't agree with it now either. Uh, but that's all but after the fact, and, and I'm not going back. I don't care what they offer me. I never go back <clears throat> for a whole lot of reasons, but not because they're not a good company. That's not one of the reasons, you know. You know the main reason is I don't want to pull a box no more. I'm done. I got out of that box, start pulling this flatbed. I'm telling you, you go, you, if you, you look, start pulling flatbed. You ain't gonna want to pull another driver hand, no, no reefer again. Period. I'm telling you, I mean, no, it ain't work for everybody, but for the most part, shit. This, the, this is the lick, man. Flatbed is the lick, bro. This is a. The people tell you that it's so hard. All this is because they don't want you coming in here. That shit is the bomb. <laughs> because they're company. Okay, if you don't come to Melton, you don't go to Swift, you don't go to where, uh, uh, there's Crete. Um, they're really good. And uh, also, uh, uh, Prime, you're not going to go wrong, man. It's a pretty good place. All you got to do is no matter where you want to go, just make sure you want to go there to work. If you do that, you're going to be just fine. Anyway, I'll ramble another extra four minutes. You missed. Use the link. Go watch me uh, cook my pig on my other channel like subscribe thumbs up those videos please. let's help grow that, that, that channel and i see you when i see you until then deliver undistracted and here's your boop, yeah. boop.